What's up, YouTube? Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here. And I have a bit of a long overdue update for you today. And yes, I am out by the Cross of Sacrifice. You can see it right there. So let's get on with this video, shall we? Now, as some of you know, back in February, my housemate bought me a Wakazashi for my 41st birthday. And there were problems with that sword from the time it was delivered. Now, per the company's policy, we contacted them straight away to notify them of the issues we had. Namely, a large split in the sire. A large section was blown out. In fact, I'll put images along the bottom of the screen here so you can see. So, right, the day that was delivered and we unpacked it, we contacted them as soon as we noticed the damage to the sire. A six or seven inch section blown out. Bear in mind, a sire is about a 20 inch blade. So about a third of the blade's length on that sire was blown out. The section that was blown out would not have been repairable because it was right in line with the channel for the blade. And as it was a, glo a gloss finish black lacquer, it would have been really hard to match it, even if it could have been repaired, which there wasn't enough surface area to glue up for a repair. So we, as per their policy, contacted them and they stonewalled us. They didn't even get back to us. We let them know what the issue was. We let them know that the sire had a low, large blown out section and also that one of the Makugi pegs was loose on the suka, which shouldn't be happening. As the Makugi pegs are what hold the suka onto the tang of the sword. As one of them was loose and actually damaged as well as the sire being damaged, we were aiming to either get a refund and return the sword to them or get a replacement. Well, they didn't, they didn't talk to us at all for like a month. So come March, we reached out to PayPal, who my housemate paid with, thankfully, because if not for PayPal, this would not have been resolved. And yeah, the company, who, yes, I am going to name in this video, just let me get through this first. The company, again, stonewalled us, even when dealing with PayPal. Their first offer was blatantly insulting. They offered us a refund of $69 on a $289 sword. And that was it. That was it, basically. That was their offer. Not to have the sword sent back or replaced, just to give us a partial refund. But I'd done a bit of research, and that partial refund definitely was an insult because I could have not replaced the sire for less than $100. That's including shipping to the UK where I currently live. So we rejected that offer and roll forward another three or four weeks, so another month. This is the beginning of April now. And we finally get a resolution. We have to ship the sword back to them and they will issue a full refund. However, and this is why I'm going to say what I'm going to say about this company when I get to naming them. They expected us to cover the shipping. We didn't want to, but upon PayPal's advice, we covered the shipping. Now, here's the ironic thing. These swords are shipped into the UK from France using Chronopost. The return for this sword had to go all the way to China. Now, here's the ironic thing. These swords are not made in China. They're made in Japan. I know because I've seen the kanjis on the tanks. So they are, in fact, made in Japan. But we had to ship it back to China, which, needless to say, is a little bit odd. Anyway, we've done it. That cost us exactly the same amount as their partial refund was, so $69, 
fucking ridiculous. And as expected, now this is what this is where this company is scummy as hell. As expected, the package got seized at Chinese customs. Not the main customs office, however, the customs office for the comp- the region that the company said their office was based in. So we reached back out to PayPal. They said, well, you've done your job. You've done everything they've told you to, and they're still not honoring their refund. So PayPal refunded it. And I've checked the tracking recently. It is now May. The sword is still in customs in China, claiming that the documents were incorrect. The documents were 100% correct because the documents were provided by the company, who I am now going to name. So, for anyone thinking of doing business with swordsforsale.co.uk, trading name, Masamune Sword or Sato Swords, don't. Because when things go well, they go golden. But if you ever have an issue, like I did, with the sire and with a makugi peg in the suka assembly you are going to be up shit creek without a paddle so this is a buyer beware when things go right with swordsforsale.co.uk yes they are good swords however i do not recommend them based on their customer service they stonewalled us for a month until we got hold of paypal it took them another month even after we got hold of paypal to even come to the decision, oh, send it back to us and we'll issue a full refund. Not only that, they made us pay for the ship return shipping to them, and it was going to China when the swords are not manufactured in China and they're not shipped from China when they're coming into the UK. They are shipped out of France. I know because I have the customs certificate at home telling me where they were shipped from. So, guys... If you want my advice and you're in the UK and want to get yourself a katana, do yourself a favour and go to someone reputable like the Night Shop. They require an account, yes, but they do have PayPal payments as well. Uh, So does Southern Swords if you want to go for a smaller retailer. Although Southern Swords doesn't stock as many katana and samurai swords like wakazashis, tantos, that sort of thing. So, take my advice on this. Do not use swordsforsale.co.uk, a.k.a. Masamune Sword or Sato Swords, which is what their PayPal trading name is. Go straight to a reputable dealer like the Night Shop or like Southern Swords. For Katanas in the UK, it's probably going to be in the Night Shop because they have a bigger range. They've started recently stocking Ronin Katana. They stock the Hanway range. Although you may have to wait until they get items in stock, which can take them a while. But take it from me, from my personal experience, you would be better off waiting for stock from the night shop than going to the scummy, scummy Masamune Sword slash Sato Swords of swordsforsale.co.uk. Now, I am still going to be doing cutting footage with the swords I have from them. However, I am going to be getting either a windless steel craft or Hanway European style sword, so a cruciform sword, to see what is the difference between a reputable manufacturer and the manufacturers that Masamune slash Sato Swords, swordsforsale.co.uk are using. But yeah, take my advice on this. Go to a reputable retailer. If you can afford it, because their shipping is extremely high, use Cult of Athena. If not, reach out to companies like Romance of Men or Hanbon Forge. Ask if they can ship to the UK. Otherwise, if you're looking for a UK retailer, in the UK, the night shop for katanas. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment, and share. And remember, be good to each other.